Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer, and today we're continuing our look at the Holy Spirit during this week of Pentecost. Today we turn to John's Gospel, the 20th chapter, and the gift of the Holy Spirit that Jesus shares when he appears to his disciples. So let's read this. This is the 20th chapter of John's Gospel, beginning with verse 19. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, that is the day of the Lord's resurrection, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked, for they were afraid of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And after this, Jesus showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said again to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When God said, or when Jesus said this, he breathed on them. And he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. And if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. What I want us to just focus on this morning is this simple fact that Jesus is giving the Holy Spirit. And twice he says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. It's interesting that in this short passage, John has tied the word peace with the story of the giving of the Holy Spirit. I think we're supposed to get something out of that. Peace is the goal of the Holy Spirit. First, there's inner peace, right? There's that peace, that acceptance of who you are child of God, and what you have been called to do, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, accepting that, accepting that you're not what the rest of the world may think you are. You make your peace with that. No fears, no anger, no frustrations, but you're at peace with the person that God has created you to be. So peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. But then there's also this larger peace, this external peace, the peace that we are called to have between one another. And then ultimately, as we work up from the individual to our family groups, to our nation states, to our globalness, a peace, an understanding that each of us is a beloved child of God. And that each and every one of us is called to love one another, to live with compassion. That is peace. Peace is more than simply the absence of violence. Dictators and schoolyard bullies can have the absence of violence because it's filled with fear. But peace, the desire that I want you to be well. And I want others to be well. Is where peace comes from. We try to make it all sorts of things. But peace means that I believe that the other people in the world are child, are children of God, that they are loved, they are blessed, they are gifted. So Jesus breathed Holy Spirit on to the disciples. A call to peace, inward and outward. May we live with that peace today and always. Let us pray. Great Holy God, thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit. And in that spirit, may we find the inward peace to love who we are 
And may we find the strength and the courage to love the Christ and others as well, to see beyond their brokenness and to see you in their lives. And in seeing you, let us do whatever we can for our fellow humanity and let peace abound. Amen. Friends, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and you are created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. And have an awesome day.